across. Uh, you can see uh, some of those uh, competitors very hot on the heels there. It's a great start from Alex Butts, and what a start from the veteran of the class. He has got the start he needed. Uh, Billy Fuller there in third place with Tyler King, uh, the cat amongst the pigeons. Uh, he's in second place, but uh, Alex Butts, a uh, hugely experienced campaigner in the paddock, and uh, he uh, has got the job done at the moment. Can he show them a clean set of heels? He is the leader of the Ninja Cup, and can he uh, head off into the distance? We've got Tyler King, Billy Fuller. Uh, looks like a good start in there as well uh, for all of our Ninja competitors. We've got a couple of high sayings getting a good start, mixing it up with the Ninjas already, so look out for that. This fabulous uh, occasion on the cards. This is actually just a six-lap race. They get a couple on the program here today, so we'll give you an update uh, when we get some more information. But Alex Butson, he's got out of the bed on the right side this morning. This is fabulous. He leads into turn number seven, the recently resealed uh, bit. And uh, talking to all the riders, they absolutely love it. There's so much grip. It's beautiful and smooth. And uh, the uh, potential for the uh, track to be resurfaced in other areas is fabulous. So look out, Topo International Motorsport Park. Uh, a real treat for the race fans today. A little bit of cloud cover, which uh, you think is not ideal, but it's actually perfect for track conditions. So uh, track temperature probably close to perfect uh, at the moment. And uh, a day uh, to remember here for sure. The final round of our New Zealand Aeon and Pirelli uh, Superbike Championships. What a treat this is. 20 uh, high sungs and 9 uh, ninjas. 29 strong field. The Le Mans start pretty spectacular on a sick lapper here. We'll take a 29 that we've got in this class, uh, Brad, or the two classes combined. Take the last 150 and put the 15 in there. Add those uh, together. You know, there's, uh, there's over 40 riders for a starter that are in these classes. And this is what the sport needs. Yes, not everybody can afford a 600 or wants to be on a 600 or is capable of a 600. You, you, a sport wants numbers. And this is exactly what we got by seeing it. And for the racing for that 150s in to go by, I'll take that any day of the week. And look at what we got here for a trio as well. Sensational. All right, uh, here it is. Alex Butson leads Tyler King and Billy Fuller, but that has squeezed right up. And Billy, uh, the quickest round on that uh, flying fast first lap. So, uh, wow, that's getting exciting. Uh, and then also uh, we've got uh, Nathan Finlay in there as well. Good start from him. Uh, we've got some uh, action on the race here at the moment with uh, everyone getting away nicely. Good to see some of the high sungs mixing up with the ninjas. That's fabulous. So you can see that yesterday they had two uh, completely separate starts, which they'll have uh, later on this afternoon. And uh, this time, uh, with the Le Mans start, everyone going off as one. It's uh, actually fabulous to see some of the high sungs mixing it up there as uh, we see the update. Alex Butson loves this middle of the track, these uh, nice little tight technical corners, an experienced campaigner, a former top three NZ in pro twin racing. He's now uh, showing the youngsters how it's done with uh, Tyler King and Billy Fuller hot on the heels. Nathan Finlay there, don't rule him out to, to catch on to that front three-way train as we've got uh, some hot pace. 148.8 there for uh, Billy Fuller. Uh, pretty uh, quick to lace to lap times out there. Now the one I want to get Brad here is this young man Ben Cook. Now Ben was on the podium, interviewed him uh, last week. He's never been to Taupo. This is his first ever time at Taupo and here he is lying in 16th overall but of course he was on the ninja podium and when you take nine of the guys out you're obviously going to take uh, nine less than the 16. So you're talking about somebody who's there in the top five. So sensational to see. So there's another good example of new young guns in our sport and if we keep on growing like this we'll have a sensational series for many years to come. So bring it home with some great uh, road racing and the Carl Cox Motorsport Shout out to uh, Carl Cox Motorsport and uh, Damon Rees along with uh, uh, Kinch Racing for what they've secured overseas as well. Super news during the week, loving that one. Congratulations Team Rees, that is beautiful and we look forward to seeing uh, Damo on the uh, big steps of uh, road racing in the UK and that world class British Superbike Championship. Uh, bring it home Damo, hope you're uh, tuned out there. Hi to Talia as well and to all of you people out there on CTAS here for this sensational finale. Bring it home and Brad, a three way, how good is this? And it's fully completely flipped, we've got Alex now in third place, Tyler's leading ahead of Billy and then Alex is in third, but Alex around the outside into turn one. What an amazing move, and he loves holding that, because that um, thing is really nice in the middle of the corner, so Alex Butts are now piling on a bit of pressure, and he's getting swamped down the back straight, but when he comes into the infield, he is the one to look out for, as they are nearly rubbing tyres as they go through this. is Billy Fuller up the inside, and Woo, gets yes. the job done. He goes into second place, and Tyler uh, trying to get away, but Alex answers straight back and goes back into second. This is going to be phenomenal. Still three and a half odd laps to go. And uh, an update here, we've got uh, Nathan Finlay. Justin Reed. he's uh, handy to the points as well. He's sitting uh, third in this championship. Aaron Duransel, Blair Skelton, uh, Sean White and Andrew Baldera. That's our top nine and they're all in the highest sunk Ninja Cup. I just want to do a reflection of that, Brad. Weren't we were so lucky last week? We were in a super hurry to get away from Hampton Downs. We are sort of in a bit of an unwind mood and thought, well, you know, you've got to drive through the middle of the night. Let's get the tear away traffic off the road and just wait. So we're in a hurry. We went along and uh, witnessed the uh, uh, highest sung uh, podium and their own prize giving in one of the sheds afterwards. Feel 
feel the atmosphere in the unwinding and the awards that were given out. You know, people that are most improved and people that have done well in the series and everything that's going on. King Dobson, you're an absolute uh, star. So uh, pretty cool to see and uh, loving the fact that we've got uh, all of those on, on board, Brad. And along with the 150s that we've just witnessed, and there's more cool things to come as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just the, the absolute legend that is Ken Dobson. All the work he puts in uh, the uh, starting the series up and just the continued support he gives. It. And it's almost like a family, the highest hung Ninja Cup. You know, it's an unbelievable atmosphere. And so a shout out to Ken and all the work he does as we see three of them uh, swapping paint into the flip flop there. Alex Bunsen muscles his way into the lead. Can he hang on to it? He's done a wonderful job there to hang on. And uh, this is all important championship points up for grabs. Tyler King and Billy Fuller, they are right there uh, with uh, Alex to go uh, flying. And we are uh, now uh, about halfway through this one. Three laps gone, three laps to go. The fantastic Le Mans start. And, uh, oh man, this is a special thing to watch. But, uh, yeah, update on the points in the Ninja Cup. Alex Butson leads ahead of Billy Fuller by only by about uh, 14 points. And Justin Reed back in third overall in that championship. So that's going to be fantastic. And double points uh, up for grabs uh, on the weekend here as uh, we see, and uh, looking at it for the highest sun cup, we've got Ben Cook, uh, Oliver Pikett and Jesse Stroud, that's your top three overall for that, and uh, looking out on the race, fabulous to see uh, Oliver, uh, he is leading this uh, race here at the moment, and uh, a shout out to Kendall Dunlop, who's doing a fantastic job on the Kiwi Bike Insurance uh, race team, so she's there uh, running in second for the highest sun cup at the moment, Ben Cook, he's got himself up into third, and he is uh, uh, the quickest man on track in the highest sun, so he's trying to charge through the pack, we've got Hadley Thompson there, Esmond Williams, uh, on the Kiwi Bike Insurance uh, race team as well. He's in fifth place, Scotty Finlay. And you'll see him double class and he's on the uh, uh, Pro Twins as well. Blaine Pyrama uh, and Nick Trigger and Sean Parker with John Williams. That round out your top ten in our highest sung uh, uh, cup in our Car Course Motorsports uh, Ninja Cup. Alex Butson, Tyler King and Billy Fuller. You can see that three-way uh, fight going on into turn at number 11. And uh, just in behind them we've got uh, Nathan Finlay, Justin Reed, Andrew Ansel. And then go to Bear Scout and Sean White and Andrew Boldera, that's your top nine there. So that's the update as we're halfway through a thriller here. I only be described as an absolute uh, thriller. In fact, uh, some of you watching out there may see some of those riders that are uh, wearing high vis. What it's uh, designed to do, of course, is uh, to mix a little bit of experience amongst the young ones. So you actually see them in front of a young rider. You think, well, I wonder why that's going on. Because, of course, they're starting to lead the way and show them uh, all the right things to be doing out there. Yes, they're further back in the field, so they're not necessarily affecting the main part of the racing itself. But it's just a cool thing to make sure that, hey, we want to have an introduction to the sport. You can do the laps you like on here on a Friday on an unofficial practice day. But there's nothing like racing, and, and we'll guide you through and we'll help you give you a hand along the way and some of these high songs i tell you what Brad you know they're rocking through some of these bikes are you know they're 15 odd years old now as far as the bike's concerned and you know some of them have had you know five or six different owners as they've been a, a hand me on to a hand me on the most super affordable way to get into racing this great little bike when it came out they were a, a huge hit in New Zealand them and their big brother the uh, 650 as well they were pretty uh, cool but these little 250s and I would say that uh, now you've got more than half of the bikes that ever came to New Zealand have now ended up on racetracks and uh, uh, this is a good example of them a little higher sound. What a cool little bike it was. I'll tell you what, they're making some cool sounds and more importantly, having some cool racing. So bring it home with the higher sound. It's been because of the higher sound's uh, legacy is not there now with no future bikes. They brought the Ninja 400s along and added them into the lineup as well. So there's a chance for growth and potential uh, through this group. And to think that in amongst the Auckland Motorcycle Club, they got their whole own series for this. And because we've done uh, AMCC events back to back here with them hosting uh, Motorfest as the host club and also here at Taupo for the final, we've got an opportunity to see this uh, sport growing with us, Brad. So bring it on for the future. Yeah, oh, fabulous. Yeah, to still have 20 high sungs out on the grid. They stopped making these bikes about 10, 15 years ago, and that, that just is a testament to the family and the culture that's around this series. You know, they all share parts and help each other out, and it's just fabulous. So, uh, getting excited now. The white flag is ready in the finish man's hands. So, uh, when they come through the flip flop, it's Billy Full at Tyler King. There's Alex Butson, but look at how good Alex is in these tight corners. He'll come back and try and argue his way into the flip flop. He's not going to be quite close enough to make a statement here, but this is going to be one big last lap. Billy Full at Tyler King and Alex Butson come out of turn 14 and grab the white flag, one lap to go for our Calcox Motorsport Ninja Cup. We've still got Nathan and Justin there in fourth and fifth place, so a shout out to them as they are coming out of turn 14 now at the moment, so this is fabulous stuff as it's gonna be one hell of a lap here. Billy Fuller, can she hang on? Got the win here yesterday with Tyler right there as well. And then Alex in a fabulous third place. So this is important, not only for the two races today, but the final race of the series. Double points up for grabs, and uh, that overall, Alex versus Billy, 
Uh, let's uh, see how this one unfolds. Well, in fact, we're looking again at the high sungs in amongst them because it is the domination. As you expect 250s versus 400s, but the Kawasaki Ninja has got the advantage. But don't worry about being a high sung uh, rider out there. More importantly, you're getting incentive because you've got some of the 400 guys behind you. So the uh, first of the high sungs is way back in 10th place, Oliver Pikett, and then my man Ben Cook having his uh, debut here at Taupo today. He's sitting there in second along with Kendall Dunlop. Had a lovely opportunity to trip over uh, Kendall at a uh, eatery uh, down on the beautiful Taupo waterfront uh, here at last night. And uh, lovely to catch up with her and Matt. What a beautiful couple they are. And uh, just for her and loving her racing course, uh, normally a swinger with uh, the great uh, Spike as well in the sidecar. But due to Spike's health, they're taking a bit of a breather off the sidecar racing at the moment. But it still keeps uh, Kendall on a motorcycle. And she is an absolutely dynamic woman in every shape and form. As for a, uh, a woman and a mum and a, and a wife, but a, a racer and a sidecar swinger as well, they don't come any better than that. So uh, well done to Kendall as she puts in her best foot forward out there. Third place, uh, Brad, when you've got Billy up there as well. More women doing it out there. You can bring him home. All right, Tyler's just dived up the inside of the flip flop. He's now in the lead. Can Billy argue straight back? It's a brilliant defensive line from Tyler King. Has he done enough to hang on? Out of turn number 14 in the run to the line. It's going to be a drag race. Tyler versus Billy. It's pretty close, but Tyler's going to hang on. In there, brilliant. Billy's going to come home in second, and Alex Butson, who gave it everything, is going to come home and round up the podium. And uh, absolutely fantastic. What a thriller. And uh, that will be uh, exciting to say the least as far as the points are concerned. Alex Butts and Billy Fuller, uh, they pretty much be locked on points almost heading into that final round. So it's probably going to be winner take all as far as this uh, Carl Cox Motorsport Ninja Cup. Unbelievable. That's fabulous. And then we go, Nathan Finlay's going to come home in a quality fourth place. So uh, he's having a good showing on that uh, Ninja machine. And then look out, we've got uh, Justin there. He'll be coming home in about uh, fifth place. Sean White uh, there in sixth. So that's uh, still him out on track. Uh, please scout Andrew and so Andrew Baldero that's your uh, nine Ninjas uh, still a few of them to come through the line we've also got our uh, High Sun Cups uh, we've got uh, Oliver Pikett there we're going to see if uh, he can uh, hang on to that one there because Ben Cook was coming he was a little bit quicker at 153.8 he was a couple of tenths uh, faster than Oliver that time around that's exciting for the championship there's uh, uh, about 100 odd points between those two in the overall so uh, cannot rest on your laurels as uh, it's coming through and Ben's going to come uh, there. He's going to end up doing it there on that last lap. So that was him uh, crossing the line. He comes home in 10th place. That'll be the first of our highest sayings ahead of Oliver. So uh, that's a big statement to make in this championship. Uh, and then also we've got our uh, World Sport uh, Women's Cup with Kendall Dunlop taking honours there. Uh, she's going to come home in third place on the Kiwi Bike Insurance uh, machine. So uh, third place in the highest sayings and that'll be the first of our women home. Well, <laughs> that's brilliant. Wonderful stuff. And we're going to cross down to Neil who will have uh, an unbelievable podium. Uh, less than six tenths per second, separate our top three. And uh, it is uh, Tyler King with the win, Billy Fuller, and Alex Butts in there. So uh, a little bit of a uh, double podium perhaps for Tyler, because we didn't get to ha catch up with him after his Supersport 150 race. He's also doing 300 as well, so triple classing this weekend. And uh, we'll cross down to Neil, who will catch up with that uh, dynamic young man. And uh, just to sort of almost do an apology in advance, a bit of a shout out to uh, what we're doing. I want to uh, just let you know that potentially we're going to have some races almost starting as we're finishing podiums. And we hope you don't mind the over splash, as I call it, between the uh, finishes of one race and the start of the next. But we've got so much to try and squeeze in during our day that we get pretty tight on the schedule. So sort of an apologies in advance of uh, what we're seeing. Well, remember, of course, Tyler King couldn't be here for the last uh, podium because he had to go out in that race, uh, a back-to-back -back race. Uh, of course, uh, completely different bikes to be go from a 150 to a 400, a bit like uh, going from a, uh, a Mini to a Mac. But uh, there you go, fabulous to see that uh, he's been able to uh, turn up here and uh, lay it on the line. So uh, nice to see. And uh, look at what we're going on here at the moment. And we've still got uh, plenty of fans out here with uh, Alex as well at the moment. Look at the uh, cheers going out there uh, for him. And we'll get the uh, water bottle on board as uh, well. Mate, where do you steal a start like that? They're young kids, mate. I don't know. Jumping, uh, jumping green lights in West Auckland, probably. Oh, oh, oh jumping green lights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, love it, love it. Alex, good to be out there with these young guns. Oh, yeah. Look, uh, yesterday they just left me for dust, so I had to throw something at the wall um, today. Um, got an early lead and tried to sort of control the pace of the race. Uh, sort of fell away at the end of it, and these guys are just rapid. I just can't keep with them. Um, but thanks to my team, thanks to Past Masters, uh, thanks to the Cup. Uh, it's just such a great place to be. Yeah. Love it.
Bring it, can you do it again? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah well done, well done. So, uh, an opportunity to come around here at the moment and uh, take on uh, uh, Billy. So, we'll get Billy over here in line with the uh, camera as well. First of all, to the Mahoe Land Company and that uh, beautiful, uh, full of family. Uh, so cool to see. How's this bike? This is awesome. And is this your touch? Is these your colours, Billy? Yeah, definitely. Love this bike. Yeah, got no complaints about it. Just love it. All right. Hey, what a dynamic race. Was that fun? Yeah, we were dicing around and yeah, it was pretty entertaining, it, it sure was, yeah. Alright, indeed, you had a good season? Yeah, so far, so we'll see what happens in the last race, hopefully. So what, what do you got to do? Uh, well, just beat Alex really, just take out the points, try to, but yeah, so. Well done, alright, great to see, thank you Billy, well done, and the Billy uh, fan club there as well, uh, Tyler, congratulations, you missed your podium there uh, last time, one one thousandth of a second, that's officially what the time was over you and Hayden, was that a cool moto? Yeah, now super fun, dicing off those guys, it just makes racing so much fun. <laughs> alright, uh, now that you're back onto the uh, bigger bike, you like this machine? Yeah, no, it's cool, just straight off the road, taped up the headlights and it's ready to race. <laughs> Good to see. All right, hey mate, you had that bad luck at uh, Ruapuna, you had that injury, uh, being a young body, you were able to recover. Was that a frustrating time or could you feel your weight was worth it? Uh, well, super frustrating, uh, crashing in practice and missing out on two rounds, but it is what it is and yeah. All right, indeed, what's Taupo like today? It's good, just a bit slippery, a bit cold, no tyre warmers, makes it a bit harder. Got to really warm those tyres up in the look lap. Yeah, have to go hard, all right. What are you going to do in the next one? Try to do the same. Don't do the same. Of course you are. Well done. So there we go, Alex Butson, uh, uh, Billy Fuller in here, and this man, Tyler King, for another great race. Well done. All right, uh, we'll line up. Uh, we'll, uh, did Ben get you get number one in the end? Hey, mate, well done. First time here. I was raving about, mate, because you were back in 16th at one stage, so I think you were third or fourth as far as the uh, highest thing's concerned, but you got there. Well done. You feeling good? Yeah, I feel really good, thanks. Yeah, I think, I think I've done enough to finish the championship first now, so... Oh, well done. Yeah, excellent. All right, what's this Taupo circuit like? What do you reckon? I love it here, yeah. yeah. It's a great, great circuit. Great circuit. Well done, beauty, mate. Thank you, uh, Ollie. Uh, uh, you brought me a paint job again. What sort of week you had? What have you been doing? You been, been to the gym every day? Uh, no, I've been relaxing all day, just trying to meditate, you know, see the lines. Um, you know, like I mentioned before at Motorfest, this is my first time here and um, Ben's quick here, so I couldn't, couldn't hold him off. Well done, well done. I got you the other way around, so uh, good to see, good to see. Look at all the, uh, the hugs and the uh, high fives going on around there and uh, taking the uh, limelight. Uh, Kendall, good morning. Good to race with these guys. Uh, these guys are great to race with. It's such a fun class. And so much respect between the riders and it was so nice being out there with my teammate Esmond having a bit of a battle at the start too and no it's awesome. All right, hey, a bit sad that you're missing out on a sidecar swing but uh, having a good ride here in the High Sun Cup makes up for it a little bit? Yeah, it definitely makes up for it. It's good fun but um, oh no, I take it back. I don't know that anything could really make up for the sidecar. Spikey and I just have the best fun. But it's awesome. Spikey's made it out here today to support us all and um, I think him turning up just on time brought me some good luck for this. So. Well done indeed. All right, um, hey, we come towards the end of the season. Are you going to be have a tear in your eye when we finish? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's um, yeah, it's been a brilliant season. It's been so nice to get back out with everybody after all the drama we've had and the, you know the illness and so on. So, no, it's just great to be back with the race family and. My husband's actually starting his race right now, so I'm just Right, all right, right, there we go, there we go. This is a nice one to finish. Hey, back out on the start, back to your bed. Cool. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant stuff.